Good morning, folks, starting with Stellarium, a free internet program assistant for sky watching. If you go outside pre-sunrise and look for the red planet Mars, big bright Regulus is right below. And Comet Ison is above. Ison's slightly more difficult to see than Regulus, obviously. But folks, if you have some equipment of any kind, you shouldn't be without a visual unless you are way, way, way south. Outstanding news out of India. Lesson learned from 1999, and despite the damage reports coming in at scary levels, the evacuations did their job and the death toll stands below a dozen, most of those coming before landfall due to wind. I expect those numbers to rise a bit, but surely, India has avoided a repeat of disaster or worse. You see its center frame here, but to the right, to the east, we have two more storms. Both are going to be significantly strong. One in the South China Sea headed right for Vietnam, again, and the other still in the West Pacific now expected to swing up in front of Japan. Coming to the American West Coast where Octavo is expected to smack into Baja after developing this weekend, it will add to a situation started by the Canadian low up here at this point. The south pointing convergence tail is where the rain comes, but that extends far enough south to combine with moisture shearing north from the tropics could be serious for parts of Texas tonight. That pressure regulating in Europe as well after bringing snow to wide swaths in the last 48 hours. New Zealand, flash flood watch in a serious way with major precipitation expected. Those two big sunspot groups are now earth facing. On the trailing southern region we still have magnetic mixing but honestly it is gone to the north. The umbral size is the lone reason to watch that group, especially with the proven flare maker entering the frame further to the north. Also of note, we had another sun diver this morning, very small, thought I spotted her before that hit the hay last night, but by eyes open, she was gone. Disintegrated on approach, but not before inducing our third M flare in the last week and a tremendous bout of activity by comparison to the previous months. Still pretty weak for solar maximum. But based on Soho, Lasco, you can see a significant breadth of ejecta CME on a wide scale from the M flare. And using stereo B core 2, we see that much is on our plane or higher, so I will go ahead and fully agree with Noah on the certainty of Earth impact. G1 to G2 magnetic storms are possible, but not likely more. Corona hole power via ISWA shows maintained power Earth facing with the next ones coming in. The umbral and coronal fields that deflated when the power left began backbuilding as New Zealand and the Caribbean took large quakes. That's continuing as the largest was just to be had yesterday in Greece. Luckily there was minimal damage only. And a couple other unusual and above average rumbles, but lots to watch on our star. Sunspots and coronal hole power, but first, the best flare caught by Iris yet. Eyes open. No fear at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.